ACDC. Well, I mean, I look, mean, you've got Bon Scott, you've got Brian yep. Johnson. Those those gentlemen have been there, you know, had been there from day one and starting in 73. So, you know, and we all grew up on ACDC. Anybody that tells me they haven't heard an ACDC song, I would like to just, <laughs> I'd like to just hit him in the head with a pipe. <laughs> Out of all of the stories that you that you you have and that you can think of back, I mean, I, I know even for me, it's it's hard to think about like one specific, but there's always one. I mean, I have I have certain ones, but what's the one that like sticks in your head that was either life changing or it was that that one moment that you remember that you you'll never forget or or I the- think I think uh, probably recently I had one of those moments and it was when Axel. Uh, went in to help out ACDC and cover 23 shows for him. And it was the first show that we did in Lisbon, Portugal. Um, there was about 80,000 people there. There were 1,100 press requests. And a lot of the press were there to see Axel fail. And he was more nervous than, you know, I'd ever seen him, I think. Just f- sheer fear. Just, you know, it's a scary proposition to stand up in front of that many people and oh, yeah and and sing those songs and a lot of people wanted to see him fail and i a remember lot of them wanted um, to see him do be successful i think social media at that point was just exploding with you know what the fuck yeah. why is he in what's gonna acdc happen? you know leave him in guns and roses and and yeah. you're right i think that with the press requests and everything else i think there were there was the, the number of people that wanted to see it go the other way was far outweighed the, the people that wanted to see it successful. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, you know, it, it, it was pretty funny because uh, he came out and they did the first song rock or bust and he just absolutely killed it. And it was just like, I was almost in tears just watching the guy because he was doing something that he really, really enjoyed doing. It was, you know, that brand is, you don't want to do anything to hurt that brand. No. You know, that is just a legendary, legendary brand. And so he, he prepared himself and worked harder for that than I'd ever seen him work for anything that he ever wanted in his life. And he went out and he absolutely crushed it. And, and the press wrote really nice things about it. And the fans were absolutely elated at seeing it because it was just epic. I mean, it was Absolutely. unbelievable. I mean, there, there's been a lot of, I think, you know, lead singers that have gone from one band to, a, you know, a, maybe a singer's passed away or whatever, and, they, and they've always tried to fill those shoes. And those are, you know, always a, a pretty tall order to fill. But sure. when you are filling the shoes of ACDC... Well, I mean, I look, mean, you've got Bon Scott, you've got Brian yep. Johnson. Those, those gentlemen have been there, you know, had been there from day one and s- starting in 73. So... You know, and we all grew up on ACDC. Anybody that tells me they haven't heard an ACDC song, I would like to just, <laughs> I'd like to just hit him in the head with a pipe. Um, and and Axel as well. I mean, he grew up on all those songs, and he and he just, it was such a dream come true to be able to sing those songs in that band was just unbelievable. You know, I I I wish I could have been there, but I mean, I I I know that from speaking with you in the past, that's been a, a moment where you'll never forget. And I know that the the tour was hugely successful. And, yes. And, and we'll see what happens down the future with that. Oh, I would love to see that happen again one day. I think we all would. What's the sketchiest thing or sketchiest show or project that you've been on? You're just like, get me the fuck out of here. Uh, like, are you just like these guys are a bunch of fucking clowns? I, I'm, I've had it. Oh, I'll, I'll go ahead and give you that one. This one, there's no charge for this one either. That'll be R. Kelly in uh, in <laughs> South Africa, and uh, I went down there and did a couple shows. Um, South Africa was actually pretty good, but then we went to Nigeria, and that probably had to be the most scariest place. Uh, I was like pale, frail, white roadie, and and in Lagos, Nigeria, we're in this square with it. It's a, it would hold about four hundred thousand people in this downtown. And for those of you've been to this beautiful city of Lagos, um, uh, I, I was pretty much in fear from the time that I started to unload the truck <laughs> until the time that I got on the plane to leave. That so, bad, huh? Yeah, it was pretty bad. Yeah, it scared me. No, no, no incidents, yeah. but just no terrifying. incidents, but absolutely terrified. 
So give us three pro tips that you would say to somebody you know, of how to, how to handle life on the road and, and sort of Tom's three point wisdom. Well, uh, first off, don't ever be late. 